Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. This one is a short video just to show you a method of making custom windscreen paint masks. I use this method on the M54 truck that I'm working on for the front windscreens just to give it that dusty look with the windscreen wipers having cleaned a section of the, uh, of the windscreen. This is some of the things you'll need. First is a compass cutter. This one is from Alpha. This is such a handy little tool. Um, I found mine at a hardware store. This little tool includes a cutting blade uh, with some spare blades in the, uh, in the protective cover. And uh, this is just perfect for cutting out circles on paper and on masking tape as we'll do now. And uh, really it's an essential tool for the hobby toolbox. Also some 40 millimeter Tamiya masking tape. Most of us know and love this. A pair of scissors and then finally a sharp hobby knife. First is to determine the size of the circle that we need. In this case, I'm going to use the wiper blade as a guide. Make sure to measure the distance of the, the wiper blade itself, only the, the rubber section that will touch the windscreen glass. I then use a piece of masking tape. Just put some masking tape down on your cutting pad. Now with the measurement taken, uh, now start cutting a round circle out of the masking tape. And we'll be needing two of these. There you go. Perfectly clean cut. Use the hobby knife or a pair of tweezers and remove the round center section. Now don't throw this away. This is the actual section that we'll be using to do the masking on the windscreen. We'll be needing the, the round disc as well as the uh, section with a hole in it. Next, determine the center of the windscreen. The area where the wiper blade will be wiping. We mark the edges of the screen so we can cut this section out. Need not be perfect. We'll be, um, we'll be adjusting this later. Peel this from the plastic that I used or from your cutting mat. There you go. This is now ready to go onto the windscreen. Next we need to determine the area of the windscreen that needs to be masked off and for this I replace the wiper blade and I now use the cutout piece of masking tape and determine where the wiper blade will physically wipe the screen. Okay, so now that we've determined the, um, the area that we need to mask out, I can remove the wiper again and I can now place the disc that we cut out earlier in exactly the right position. There you go. Something like that. And I can now remove the section of masking tape uh, with a hole in it and just leave the disc in place. Okay, now the windscreen wiper won't go all the way around the, uh, the windscreen, so we need to determine the pivot point and then also the where the wiper blades will stop and uh, I use a pencil to just mark an approximate area for this. I then use a uh, steel ruler again and uh, just draw out the, the edges where I need to do some cutting. I now use a pair of sharp scissors to cut away the masking tape that we don't want to be part of the mask. Don't peel away the entire disc. You don't want to lose the position that you've just carefully marked out. And there you go. This is now ready for, for spraying. To do this, I'm mixing some Vallejo dirt, some acrylic. It's very important to thin this properly. Your paint mixture should be more thinner than paint really. So um, just a small drop of acrylic paint, plenty of thinner. You can now load this into your airbrush and uh, carefully spray it onto the windscreen. It's very easy to overdo this effect. So what I do is um, I keep a piece of white paper handy and uh, I then spray it onto the windscreen, just one pass very lightly, place it against the white paper so I can see how much of the windscreen um, has been covered and how strong the dust effect is. You can rather apply this effect gradually to the point where you're happy with uh, the amount of dust on the windscreen. And there you go, that is the final effect. 
a dusty windscreen. This is now ready to go into the rest of the model and we are ready to move on to the next step. As always guys, this is a list of all the products that I've used. And uh, if you're curious to see the rest of the build, follow me on Instagram.